Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Hatch Rest Mini Sound Machine. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. We can learn more about its features here. Sleep Magic Made Mini, and you can download the Hatch Sleep app for iOS or Android devices to control it with your phone. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our user guide and manual walking us through everything we need to know about our new sound machine. So three simple setup steps, how to use the built-in controls, quick tips and tricks, and their customer service and contact information. Everything repeats again on the backside in another language. Next, you'll see we have our one included power supply and adapter. And lastly, we have the sound machine. Let's look at that in more detail. So looking at the unit from the top, you'll see we have a sticker we can remove prompting us to download the mobile app. You do still have physical controls. If you want to adjust the volume up or down, you can do that right there. You also tap once in the center to power the unit on, hold it down to power it off. Once it's on, you can cycle through the eight different sounds just with your finger. And now we'll look at it from the side. There's our power plug on the back. And we'll look at it from the very bottom. You'll see we have our hatch logo and branding, additional product information. Then we got our sync button there. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in, power it on and try it out. All right, we got it plugged in, let's power it on. We'll listen to our eight sounds. You can adjust the volume up or down by holding the plus or minus button. That's loud. We could turn it down. We're somewhere in between, right? Up to you and how you want to adjust that. So we go all the way up. That is loud, loud, loud. Okay, let's cycle through them. And now we're back to the beginning. Now let's look at the mobile app and what we're able to do with this. Obviously we don't have any physical controls for the timer. So if you wanna take advantage of the timer setting, you'll have to use the mobile app. So we have the Hatch app downloaded. Let's add a new product here. So make sure it's plugged in. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. In this case, it already found our Hatch right here. So let's select, let's go. It's gonna look for some Wi-Fi. So give it a couple of minutes. All right, so it took, I'd say about 45 seconds till it found our Wi-Fi. So go ahead, pick and choose your network. Make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Select that, enter your network or your password and proceed. Now it's gonna work on connecting to our device. It says it may take up to five minutes. So go ahead, keep this page open while you wait. All right, so it took about three minutes for everything to connect to get us to the next screen. We'll just call it My Rest Mini, select next. Now we're at the loading screen and we can enter our children's age if you want. We're gonna skip that. Membership options, we don't want that either. So we're gonna exit out of that. Now we can try it now. So, so we can, can tap, tap to turn on. on. Okay, we're following the prompts. Now we can select continue. And here we go. This is pretty cool. So looking at the app, you'll notice at the bottom, we have three different options. And at the top, we have our settings gear icon in the top right hand corner. Let's dive into some of the details here. So we'll start in the top right hand corner with the settings gear icon. We have our different hatch products connected. We can view our account information, help center, customer support, and about the app. We can sign out there if we want. Let's select done. 
Then you'll see we have a preview here if you want, depending on the membership, they're really pushing that. We have all of our included sleep sounds that we sampled already. You'll see them right here, all eight of them. And then we have the membership option again. Next, let's choose library. So you'll see we have longer listens and such, but again, that's gonna be for memberships. So we'd have to sign up. And then we have our messages there. And going back home, let's see if we can find our lovely timer option. So to find the timer, we have to choose our noise. So let's choose the white noise. We'll play it. And you'll notice there's a little timer icon right here. And we can set that hour to minute. So let's just do one minute. Select start. And you'll see the countdown's running. So after that, it will shut off and will no longer have any noise coming out. So you could use that as an alarm, right? If you wanted to set it for eight hours, 10 hours, you get the idea, set the timer, and then you're all set and ready to go. It is nice within here too that we can adjust the volume, drag and drop. And then we can bring it back down nice and quiet here or somewhere in between. But that's it, guys. Quick, simple app, couple of controls. You can pick up the membership option if you want to unlock some more features, but you have the same functionality here with the dedicated buttons using your phone, as well as picking up that timer feature. You can also connect it to your other devices and see your account information there. We're close, guys, less than 10 seconds. This will shut off. Let's go. Ta-da, that's it. Super simple, everything works great. The only thing left for you to do now is to turn it on and enjoy some rest.